that takes a minute. <laughs> Liz. All right. <laughs> Week two of our Berlin City Total Lexus Hot Ones episode. So uh, today we're with Liz Stalling. These are compliments of uh, Bingas Wingas. So uh, we're starting with, looks like uh, the first one's going to be the spicy redneck. So uh, help yourself. Let's see what these are all about. Well, tell me a little bit about yourself. So where did you, uh, where did you grow up? Um, so I'm from Westbrook and I've lived there my whole life. My parents are, well, my mom's from Westbrook, her parents are from Westbrook, so like third generation. I'm in school for IT right now at USM and I really love working here. It's probably the best job I've had. That's awesome. Uh, well, we love having you work here, so I want to move on and try. Uh, this is actually my favorite out favorite. of all of it. One Spice of Girl. Yeah. All right, so this is kicking it up a notch on the heat level. up in Westbrook, your family's from Westbrook, so if you could travel anywhere, where would you travel? Where would you be? Um, so my number one place is Ireland. Oh. Um, I mean, I like rain, and it just has always looked really pretty, and Irish music is really fun, so I feel like... Can you do the yeah. dance? No, no. <laughs> right. It would look pretty funny if I tried, I'm, right. I'm assuming. Awesome. So let's move on to the next one. It's Hot Buffalo. Hot buffalo. Yep. What is something that you would love to learn or to be better at? Be better at would be probably sticking to learning how to play an instrument, because I get about two months in and then stop <laughs> playing instruments. Um, I don't know, I like to learn a bunch of different, like I like to know a bunch of random facts. So okay. Like, <laughs> like, you know, like some things about animals or just like places. Okay. I don't know. I like, I like to learn a variety of different things. So what instruments do you play? Um, I have, I've played piano before, I've played guitar before, both electric and acoustic, but when I get frustrated, I just kind of lose interest. Sure. Um, I was a big art person, moreover, music in high school and such. All right, we ready to take the next step? Oh yeah, let's do it. So diesel barbecue. So tell me about what was your uh, what was the first car you owned? Uh, the first car that I had was a Ford Focus ZX3. It was yellow, and my dad put black racing stripes on it and called it Bumblebee after <laughs> after the Transformers one. <laughs> and I absolutely loved that car. The only thing is it only had two doors, obviously, because it was a two door hatchback. Um, so upsizing was my only thing, but I loved that car. Did he paint on the stripes? Or um, like he got like those sticker decals okay. at Napa or something and yeah. put on the racing stripes for me. Did it go faster after? Oh, obviously. <laughs> oh, nice, <laughs> awesome. Good, that's a neat car. All right, we're gonna move, we're gonna move on to uh, diesel garlic. Okay, diesel garlic. Yeah, it looks like it also has a lot of sauce. Definitely starting to pick up who yeah. was. Are your lips tingling? <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. More my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Next question for you. What is your dream car? Ah, uh, easy. It's a or burnt orange 69 Camaro. It has always been my dream car. My dad used to take me to car shows all the time, and that was like the one I would flock to every time. And they were always orange for some reason at the car shows, so I fell in love with that car completely. Black stripes, white stripes? Black. That was my dream car when I was a kid too, actually, <laughs> when I was younger. You can't and, beat it. Did you ever ride one? I have not. No. The closest thing that's like, an, I guess, an older sports car is my dad used to have a, oh, what was it? I think it was a 68 Javelin. Oh, yeah. It was red. Nice. And that was about the closest thing to an older sporty car that I've driven, ah, not driven, rode in. So, Wouldn't so, let me drive that. No? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd, that'd be a fun one to have. Let's move, move on a little bit here. What do we have? This one's just the plain diesel. Let's see how this one Ready? Yeah. All right, so I have to ask you this one just because it's a fun question. If you were at karaoke and you had to sing a song, what song would you sing? Well, I do like when I go to karaoke singing Summer Nights from Greece just because the end of it has the night <laughs> at the end, which nice. is my favorite part. Do you sing but, it solo or do you bring in the... Uh... Um, I had a friend do it with me last time. Um, 
but I wouldn't know all the words to do it solo too, so that's one of my favorite movies. All right, well now this is when we're gonna kick up the heat a little bit. So have you had an opportunity to ever try either of these? No. So no. this one's Chernobyl, uh, which used to be their hottest wing right, until, until 2008. I'm gonna sit back and let you really enjoy this one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How kind, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so try that one out. Tell me, uh, tell me what you think. Definitely a uh, hotter. Yeah. <laughs> you want some milk there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to finish that wing if you want. As tempting as that is, I know. So, I guess that leads me into this one. What's the hottest thing you've ever eaten? Probably that at this point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've gotten big chunks of jalapeno before, but yeah. definitely that, until probably that, then yeah. it'll, that'll be the hottest thing. You feeling okay? I'm doing better than I thought I was going to, to be honest. All right, so this is uh, this is the 08 Fire from Bingus. Um, it is their hottest wing. I can see I don't know heat. which one looks worse. I'm trying to figure out which one looks less heat, but I don't think that's an option. Thank you, Ty. Not great. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you, you know, now that you've experienced this, would you, would you do this again? Probably up until the last, especially not the last one. Oh, that takes a minute. <sighs> Just doesn't stop. No, it doesn't. Oh God. <laughs> hey, if you can handle one more question, I'm just curious if you have a, do you have a favorite quote? Like any quote? Any quote. Um, my art teacher had one hanging in the art room that I'll never forget, and it was, plan for the future, but make adjustments along the way. And as someone who was always like very on top of planning things and then realizing it doesn't go that way, that always has stuck with me. That's a great one. I like that one. Need windshield wipers. <laughs> Well, as you did great. You made it through the challenge. You know, the eight hottest wings, the biggest hats. Any thoughts or words of advice you'd love to give on, on anything? I mean, at least I can say that I did it. Yes. Have fun to whoever's going to do it next week. Definitely bring milk. I heard you didn't have it last time. You handled this uh, very well. So just wanted to thank you for, uh, for coming out and volunteering to do this. for the. Thank you. Yeah. The second week of doing this and uh, yeah, spreading some joy. So, appreciate oh, I'm it. sure I brought it. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. So. Oh. Great work. Nice job. Definitely doesn't get any better. <laughs> Just wait until about eight o'clock. I hope you ask for a day off. <laughs>